Hey, hey, everybody. Happy fall, y'all. Absolute beautiful day. My little avocado baby needs to get some water. But anyway, you are here listening to Kelly. Always me, Kelly. Perspectives with Always Me, Kelly. In my little dream house. And I am taking a break and just sitting out. It's been a little bit. Try to do this once a week. And if I'm not in the car driving, which uh, I could be, but I broke my stand. So I don't go without hands free. So I am just chilling out back here for a little bit and thought I would just um, enjoy the breeze. Enjoy the uh, day that... I've been given air in my lungs, movement in my body, hearing in my ears, sight for my vision. Even if it might be fading, might be disrupted, derailed. It is what it is, right? It is what it is. I was thinking earlier, um, I think all the time, anybody that knows me knows my mind is all over the place. So that's why it's kind of like perspectives with Kelly. Always me, Kelly. Because I am who I am. You are who you are. And I thank you if you're listening. But anything I come out and I write, I say, I do, is on me. Not anybody else. Yeah, I do things for those because I feel called to do it. Because I care. Um... And I was wondering today, I was like, why is it that God gave me a heart to care about people? Why is it that God put outreach on my heart? Why is it I do some of the things that I do? Why is it that I believe some of the things I believe? And why is it that I believe, don't believe some of the things that maybe I should? Why is it I am a show me person? If you say you're going to do something, do it. Man, it drives me crazy that people do all these things empty promises or they're dreamers you know they dream out loud and they've got all these things they say that they're going to do and they never follow through and then you've got the great pretenders right so the dreamers are a whole lot different than the pretenders the pretenders are always out there trying to be something they're not um and they just don't have any agenda except for being something that they're not because they're unhappy or they haven't found themselves of who they should be, who they were created to be by God Almighty. And then you got those people that are everything, that are nothing. I don't know where I fall in all that. I know I'm not a real big pretender. I mean, I have a great imagination and I think things through and there's things that I want to do that I just don't act upon. So I could be a procrastinator. I could be a... I could be a motivator. I am, for the most part. Um, I try to see things as a whole picture. If it doesn't show up, then to me, it just ain't happening. It's not real until it shows up. And there's always those, or there's always that, um, which never shows up. You know, I, um, I have kids. I have raised kids. I've got adopted kids, if you will. Um, and I've known a lot of people. I've run with the best, and I've run with the worst, and I have a lot of awesome people. A lot of awesome souls have passed through my connection, my path, or I've passed through theirs. I've learned from every single one. Every single relationship that I've had, every single connection I have had, I've learned from it. So if there's nothing going on good in your life right now, if you think that things are bad, if you think, think that um, anything that you're doing or somebody has really annoyed you and that you've got so much distension, so much hate and anger, Learn from it and let it go. Learn from it and let it go. I am. Um, I tend to be my own worst critic and my own worst enemy. Um, I tend to help many without even question. Um, I believe people until I can't believe them anymore. Um, and I have on um, many, many times come up and said, when's it going to be my turn? But all in all I am blessed I am blessed because if I look back on it a kid out of the projects a kid that came from nothing a kid that knows what it's like to live 
in a New York State winter with no heat, no hot water, going to school, getting your meals at school, yeah, knowing what it's like to do without, knowing what it's like to be a single parent and knowing what it's like to get laid off and not know how you're going to feed your kids. Knowing what it's like to give all you got to someone and get nothing in return. Knowing what it's like to be loved, but also knowing the difference that there is no words that can describe love because love is an action, love is a verb. It is what God did, what Jesus did on that cross so that we could have life. Yeah, it's crazy. I often wonder why I gravitate I try not to even look at people. I really do. I try not to even look at people because I don't need anybody reading my mind or reading into me. My eyes tell a big story. They do. They always have. As many, many, many people do. But I try not to, um, I try not to make connections, but I do. Over my time, I've made some choices and helped those who really didn't need the help. I've helped those who I thought in relationships we're going to be that forever, right? This is long before I even even uh, started walking my walk with God. But I actually, you know, believed in people a whole lot more. And I actually put people up on those pedestals a whole lot more than I ever should have. And I probably... I probably do still believe in people. I know I do because I still I still help people. I still um, go out of my way to not be hateful or angry. I try to listen without turning everything off. But after a while, you know, it gets to be old. It gets to be old. You know, sometimes we create our own drama. Sometimes we get caught up in the spin and we don't even realize that we can make a difference ourselves and we don't have to keep crying the blues and talking about how bad things are because we can change it because we have that ability. If he got you up, if he gave you movement in your body, if he gave you the ability to talk, the ability to listen, if he gave you a mind to think with, why are we not using it? Why are we not using it for ourselves and not because of what somebody else is trying to tell us. And that's another big thing is that what we feed into our mind, our body, our spirit matters. It matters. If we're sitting there smoking dope all day, you are not, you're going to be numb. I don't care what you say. <laughs> I mean, you're going to be numb. There's nothing that you can really do that is going to stick. Besides maybe have the munchies or, or problems that come along with doing that lifestyle. If you are out there surrounding yourself with foul mouth, nonsense, then let's just face it. Let's just face it. You need to be out there and do your very best of being your very best for who you were created to be. There is no one on this earth that God didn't create to be something more than what we give our own selves credit for. And it means to step up and step out and have confidence in yourself and have confidence in what you are doing. Even if you're not sure that's what you want to be doing at the time, you need to own it. You need to be productive and be a productive member of society. Or we should. Who am I? I am just somebody with some perspectives, just always me. But it drives me crazy. Now, it's an election week. Tomorrow's election day. And here I'm already hearing the stuff is we need to stock up on food. We need to stock up on stuff. The stores are going to be closing down because they don't want to get caught up in a riot. They don't want to get caught up in this. And they don't want to get caught up in that. You know, we're in America. What the hell is wrong with us? Yeah, I said it. And I am far from being no perfect angel. I might get up and I might go serve a mighty God. And I give thanks every day for that God that gives me the air in my lungs. That is the same God that blows these trees in today's breeze. But what the hell is wrong with us? Have we lost our minds? Why is it that there's always a conspiracy? Why is it that there's always going to be an uprising? Why is it that somebody always needs somebody to do something for them? 
If you are perfectly healthy of getting up and getting out and doing something, then do it. Be a productive member of society. Stop playing these games. Raise yourself up and hold your head high with integrity. And stop living for what other people say. Have a mind of your own. God gave it to you for crying out loud. You got a voice? Use it. You got ears? Somebody needs you to listen. You got movement in your body? There is always something to be done. Pay it forward. Pay it forward with just kindness. Pay it forward with cleaning up around where you're at. Pay it forward with owning the responsibility of appreciation in the blessings that you have, whether they are big or small. And stop taking from everybody else. Stop lying and playing and scheming and doing all that stupid, crazy stuff. Some people that will listen to me will know what I'm talking about. Some people won't. And not everybody's the same. We are all created and believe the same, but we are all uniquely made in the image of God. And he has a purpose for each and every one of us. So whether you believe in God or not, I got news for you. The same, same being that controls the wind that's blowing out here today, the same being that holds this universe together, knows and is the only person, the only being that knows when your time stamp is up. That includes me. Nobody knows what tomorrow's gonna be. You can't keep saying I'm gonna make things up to you and keep doing the same old thing. You can't keep apologizing for doing things that are wrong, but yet you keep doing them. You own it. You have the right and the ability and the freedom of will and choice, so own it. This is my thoughts today. This is my thoughts today. By the way, today is November 2nd, 2020. I can't believe that here we are in November and we're still on lockdown from a pandemic. Who would have thought that our nation would become well? Let me rephrase that because there are some people that thought about this really hard and true and they just didn't know what the outcome was going to be. There were those people that were behind the closed doors that were out there scheming and plotting and have been working on this pandemic virus that they released. Even if it got released by accident, that is no conspiracy. That is fact. Even if it was released by accident at the time it was, there was somebody that actually knew this was going to take place. But the world didn't know. Many people have just been going about their business, whether they're Jesus followers or not, whether they believe in God or not. They just go about their business trying to be their best selves. They could be the most kind person. They could be the most hateful person. But they've just been going about their own little business, their own little world, and their own little space themselves. And all of a sudden, here we are in 2020, still on lockdown. So many people who have lost, so many people who have lost so much. They've lost their jobs. They have lost their way. They have lost loved ones. They have had losses that they will never regain. Yet they still get up and do their best to be a productive member of society wherever they can. They still believe in new beginnings. They still believe that the darkness in the cocoon that has swallowed them up is going to produce something beautiful once it comes out. Now, not everybody's going to sit around a campfire and sing Kumbaya. And that's not what this whole thing that's spinning in my little mind today is all about. But what it is about for me is just acknowledging the fact enough is enough. Say what you mean and mean what you're saying. If you say you're going to show up, then show up. If you're not going to show up, then don't sit there and lead people on. Don't sit there and play games. If you are truly down and out, there's p p people and places that you can go to get help. Stop sitting there wallowing in your self-pity make a change. If you are just out there playing it, if you think you're playing the system or you're playing that one or you're playing this one, get over your damn self 
and get on with your life and do something for yourself. Lead the way because you know what? Somebody is always, always, always watching and they are leading by your example. And you may not care about the future, but before you leave, you will. Anyway, yeah, we will fire it up. Life is what it is. I, I don't know what to say. I could sit here and tell you my whole life story and I could sit here and tell you the ups and the downs and the good and the bad and the, the stuff I've given away, the stuff that people have taken, the stuff that has been destroyed. What good would it do? I could sit there and call out names and tell you stories that are going to spin your head and let you know that I am just a crazy old fool at this stage of the game. And no, I'm not old. Just a term. But I am just a crazy fool, like many others. My choices are my own. And I know that there's something better on the other side. So when something is not working, I let it go, I let it go, I let it go. I do, I do, I do, I do. Sometimes I put in too much effort, especially when it's not even for me. But if I'm not getting that ROI, if I'm not getting that investment in return, if I'm not getting that show up, it's time to make a change for me too. I don't know what my tomorrows are going to be, but I certainly know where today is and I know what yesterday was. And I can say this is that I am blessed to know what it is like to want to love, to be loved from the inside out by Christ Jesus. And to still have my own dreams, my own desires, and to still have the ability to get back up and keep trying, keep growing forward, and keep praying and hoping and having faith in the unseen of all that is good, all that is true, and all that is meaningful. I pray that you do too. If you don't have a church, if you don't belong to one and you want to get to know God, reach out. I can tap you in to people that are far more knowledgeable and theologian than I am and ever will be. I can talk to you about my life experiences. I can tell you what and how many times I've been broken, how I've been broken, how I've broke things, how I've been through the hills and valleys. But it's not going to make a difference. Even if I've been through the same thing that you've been through, it's not going to make a difference until you decide what you're going to do and how you're going to do it and it's not going to make a difference until you either get back and get it right with god through jesus christ or you meet jesus christ right where you are you don't have to go to a church building 2020 is defined all that it's not about a church building it's about knowing and meeting jesus right where you are and building that relationship and surrounding yourself up with the hands and feet of others who believe and love and want to do the good works of christ and grow forward. It's about learning biblical, historical, and real time knowledge, heart filling, faith building moments in your life. So if you're not in a church, find one. Find yourself a Bible based church. Challenge everything that's being said. Dive into music because music is the direct line right to the soul. There's podcast, there's YouTube, there's all kinds of stuff out there, people. But stop, stop with the doom and the gloom and the world is going to burn down around us. Oh, hell yeah, it's going to. There's nothing we can do about it besides keep doing purposeful, meaningful things to grow forward and help others that can't help themselves that really need it. And know, know where you're going to go in the end. Because we all get to meet Jesus at the end. Whether we stick with him or we go somewhere else, our souls will be somewhere in eternity. Where is yours? If this is your living hell right here, right now, give thanks to God. Do yourself a favor. Give thanks to God. 
for the air you breathe, no matter how bad it hurts. There's so many out there that's not going to be able to, that haven't, they've been taken away. Pay it forward with kindness. Be your best self. Be who you were meant to be and know you are worth more than anything this world could give or take. So thanks for listening to my rant today. I appreciate you. Much love, much peace. And if you haven't already done so, get out and vote. Dive in, make good sound judgments of your own, not by what people are telling you. Go out there and learn as much as you can about the opponents and the people running and do your best in making your choices and let your voice be heard because it does matter. It does matter. You can make or break somebody with one word that you say. So make it count. Much love, much peace.